Imagine you're at a dinner party, and the topic of Leonardo da Vinci comes up. You lean in, ready to drop a truth bomb that will shatter everyone's perceptions. Stay tuned, as we're about to debunk some myths and reveal a surprising truth about this Renaissance master. Welcome to the intriguing world of Leonardo da Vinci, a man renowned for his myriad talents. A polymath of the Renaissance era, he wore many hats, as an artist, scientist, engineer, inventor, and much more. His life and work continue to fascinate us, but along with admiration, there's also a fair share of myths and misconceptions surrounding this genius. What if we told you that some of the most common beliefs about da Vinci are far from the truth? Intrigued? Well you should be, especially because we've saved the most surprising myth for the end of this journey. It's a revelation that's bound to leave you speechless. So, ready to impress your friends with some da Vinci trivia? Let's dive into the first myth. Opening our narrative, we introduce Leonardo da Vinci, often touted as the inventor. Did he invent the bicycle? While da Vinci was indeed a man of many talents, including painting, sculpting, architecture and inventing, calling him the father of the bicycle is a stretch. Yes, da Vinci sketched designs designs resembling a bicycle but there's no solid proof he brought these ideas to life. It's more accurate to say that da Vinci was a visionary, a man ahead of his time. His mind brimmed with ideas some far beyond what his era could comprehend. His sketches were not practical inventions but blueprints of his deep imagination. However, these remained sketches. But worry not. Even if he didn't invent the bicycle, his ideas have inspired numerous inventors and innovators. His creative and imaginative prowess was peerless, and his contributions to art and science are significant. So when someone credits da Vinci for the bicycle, you can correct them. Being a genius isn't about inventing. Sometimes it's about dreaming and thinking. In da Vinci's case, it also means being a stellar artist. After all, he gave us the Mona Lisa and The Last Supper, two globally recognized artworks. So let's celebrate Leonardo da Vinci, the man, the myth, the legend. And remember, while not have invented the bicycle, he did invent a whole new way of seeing the world. And that, my friends, is no small feat. As we delve further into the world of Leonardo da Vinci's myths, we discover an intriguing tale. Many attribute the concept of the airplane to da Vinci, but was he truly the brain behind this revolutionary technology? Da Vinci had a deep fascination with flight, evident through his detailed sketches of flying machines, including a helical airscrew resembling a modern-day helicopter and an ornithopter, mimicking bird flight. Despite these innovative designs like the bicycle claim, there's no solid evidence that da Vinci constructed functional flying machine. Yet his imaginative designs have had substantial influence on numerous inventors and aviation pioneers. His innovative thinking has indisputably impacted modern flight's evolution. Even though he didn't build a working plane, his theories helped shape aviation's future. Genius isn't always about invention. Sometimes it's about dreaming and thinking, as seen in da Vinci's case. His sketches were more than scientific blueprints. They were artworks reflections of his limitless imagination. So when someone says da Vinci invented the airplane, remember, while he might not have been the creator of the airplane, his visionary ideas were crucial in mankind's journey to conquer the skies. And for that, we owe him a debt of gratitude. Ever heard that da Vinci could draw with one hand and write with the other simultaneously? Sounds impressive, doesn't it? Here's the thing though. While our Renaissance man was indeed ambidextrous and known for his unique mirror image script, there's no historical evidence to back up this superhuman feat. Sure, da Vinci was a genius, but even he had to abide by the laws of human concentration. So before you start practicing your simultaneous doodling and journaling, remember this. So, you might want to hold off on trying to emulate da Vinci's multitasking skills. Now for the moment you've been waiting for, the most surprising da Vinci myth of all. Often we paint the picture of da Vinci as a hermit, a loner, dwelling in the realms of his own genius. But let's brush over this canvas with the truth. Historical records show that da Vinci was far from a recluse. He had a vibrant social circle teeming with students and assistants. So there you have it. Leonardo da Vinci. Not just a genius but a social butterfly too. Now go forth and spread the truth about this renaissance master.